spoken so far who have been iconic in, in Indian Renaissance here is a lady who is a complete personality Lakshmi N. Menon she had her own charm intelligence sensitivity determination and boundless energy and indefatigable capacity for work in addition for this uh, her her wit and style of conversation was simply inimicable inimicable and commendable and erudite in the company of scholars and she was like a child amidst children she was one of the most renowned women of her times beyond doubt time changed new problems cropped up but she had the unique capacity to face these courageously and each day brought out new ideals and new programs her husband Professor V. K. Menon was also a scholar, a vice chancellor of the Travancore University. Lakshmiji had her initial schooling and college education in Trivandrum, Kerala, and thereafter she came to Madras for higher higher studies. Then she went to London for further studies. And after returning to India, she passed the uh, law LLB examination she was an excellent teacher starting her teaching career in Madras she moved on to Lucknow's Isabella Thabon College as professor she worked at principal Gokhale school at Calcutta and also in the Patna Women's College in 1952 she was the Scouts Commissioner of Bihar State. She played a prominent role in establishing All India Women's Conference and purchased the land for AIWC at Delhi after mortgaging her own ornaments and property. She was President of the All India Women's Conference from 1955 to 1959. Until the end, she was a uh, venerable patron and trustee. She had a deep knowledge of world affairs and was the Deputy Minister of External Affairs in Pandit Nehru's cabinet. She moved around the world as if were her own country yard and she was the chairperson of a number of UN commissions and everywhere she tried her best to raise the status of women, singularly focused. In the year 1960, when China attacked India, Pandit Nehru deputed her as India's roving ambassador to various nations in the world to clarify India's stand. She was also elected to the Raj Sabha from Bihar. Mrs. Lakshmi took interest in activities of Kasturba Gandhi National Memorial Trust. The Mother's Day is actually is the gift of Lakshmi Menon to uh, India. She thought that the Kasturba Memorial should be commemorated as a Mother's Day because Kasturba was nation's mother, everybody's mother. She said, on this day the children will rise in the morning and put on new clothes and then go to their mothers and bow before her and pay their respect to her uh, to her and as a token of their affection to their mothers they must they will carry a flower or a leaf and then humbly say to their mothers how much they love her how much of hard work she has put in for them in uh, uh, every day you please and you must tell that day to your mother that you please take rest today we will look after this uh, will uh, offer you our services 
also today we will attend to the daily uh, household duties just think how many of us uh, do it and how seriously how intensely it is it is required she always followed in her life the policy of non attachment and non acquisition non attachment and non acquisition were her two outflowing virtues which influenced others she had no attachment for anything and she passed away in 1994 thank you very much